Okay, um, today I'm gonna talk about epigenetics. Epigenetics is the system that controls your gene function. Here's the most famous experiment in epigenetics. What is the difference between them? The mouse with yellow hair is fat. The other mouse with brown hair is lean. But they were born from the same mother. Why is that? The answer is what their mother ate. Fatty foods or green foods. The obesity gene is the key to these changes. The gene you got from your mother determines many things about you. When their mother eats fatty foods, the obesity gene is turned on. When their mother eats greens, it is turned on. The vegetable is an important factor in epigenetic changes. Epigenetics can change the weight and the color of the mouse. So epigenetics is like an eraser and a pencil. It can rewrite our genes and change our future. Genes are not destiny. It can be controlled through epigenetics. Today, we are increasingly obese due to the consumption of, ep consumption of processed food and overnutrition, which lead to epigenetic changes and then to obesity. Obesity causes brain disease and heart disease and immunodeficiency. This is the wall that I want to break down. If we can prevent obesity through epigenetics, we may be able to overcome these diseases. To solve this problem, I focus on the nutrition cycle called the methionine cycle, which leads to epigenetic changes and disease. To change the epigenetic, needs an enzyme called MAT2A. If we control this enzyme by medicine, we may, be, we may easily lose weight. Inhibiting MAT2A or limiting methionine, which is an amino acid, should be a great strategy to solve this problem. Now, I'm researching the effect of this enzyme at the cell level. In the future, I want to work on the clinical applications. My research could be a breakthrough in epigenetic diseases. Thank you.